I was coming back from a meeting in the CTLS and uh, Twin Oaks is landing on 20, the, the south direction. That's really unusual. You can see here as I uh, come in, I'm on base, and as I as I come in, the, the fields look really great. It's fall, and so everything just has this, you know, very agricultural look. I turned on to final. It's uh, downhill before the field, and then the airport itself runs downhill in this direction, and it goes over these really tall trees. So I think that it, uh, from the other end to here is 200 feet. You have to get down in between the trees really to uh, to get lined up and then it gets even more fun because after the tall set of trees there's this section of of uh, low-lying ground with the creek running through it which tends to pull you down to the ground and then it goes up with the highway and then the edge of the the airport here or the edge of the runway so as you're coming to land there's uh, 10 or 11 stripes along the 2500 foot runway i really want to touch down on number three or four in this case i would touch down on five it really should be going around if if you're not on the ground by the very beginning of five it takes a long time to slow down as you're headed downhill as well it, there's just so much energy in the plane and it, even if you grab the brakes really hard you know it's just it just takes a long time to, to slow it down so always run down all the way to the far end of the runway as I'm slowing down when I'm going this direction. I rarely make it that far when I'm uh, landing uphill. Usually you turn off well before the, the final exit. It's, it's really unusual actually for someone to go the full distance on that side. For this landing and the rest of the landings on this video, we'll just jump in here as it's going over the trees and uh, turns on the short final. The elevation and airspeed shown here are downloaded from the uh, flight instruments itself. I wanted to make sure to have indicated airspeed so that it looked the same on every landing, no matter uh, what the wind was doing to my ground speed. The uh, altitude is also uh, a barometer setting. I think it's probably just set to 2992. The, the actual number is, is off a little bit, but this makes it consistent for each landing. This is my third landing and I'm coming in with full flaps this time, so the airspeeds are, are slower. That's the consequences of, of coming in full flaps because you need to stay below 60 and you know it's it's a barn door like some of the Cessnas, so it's kinda hard to get above 60 anyway. I consistently land on the second or third, or in this case, just after the third stripe when I'm running 30 degrees flaps. So that's probably a really good setting uh, on this runway at least. This landing is at 15 degrees flaps, which is a pretty standard landing setting in this plane but I'm doing 60 as I go through the trees. I slow it down to about 54 as I come across the threshold and I manage to land kind of just before the, the third stripe, so pretty good for 15 degree flaps. As we watch me coming in for this landing, I'll tell you my uh, history on 2-0. When I was in training, I had what felt like a, a really big setback, at least emotionally. I was coming in to, to land on 2-0, and I was going too long. It, it's really easy to do, as you can see. The problem is it's downhill, it's a really short runway, and people have definitely uh, gone off the end of the runway, which goes down into a creek and is not good. A couple of CFIs and the school owner and everybody saw me landing long and then when I and they said something on the radio and then when I came in I got chewed out for it which is appropriate 
but it happened from like four plus people. And by the time I had been reprimanded and educated by these people all kind of coming up to me individually, I, I just, I felt horrible. I didn't think that I was going to be able to show up at the airport again. I just, that was a really tough time. Here we are in landing number six, also 15 degrees flaps. I'm going a little faster, 62, as I come through the trees. And I'm going quite a bit faster as I come across the, uh, the threshold. I'm going 60. You'll see the, the difference that makes because I land just before the fifth stripe here, which is, you know, really landing long. There's the third, fourth, and there we go, just the beginning of the fifth stripe. All right, landing number seven. I'm going a lot faster through the trees here. I'm doing 70. I managed to uh, kind of slow it down, but I'm still, just like the last lap, I'm still doing 60 as I come across the threshold. And you can see I'm just slipping it sideways to really uh, get down and slow down. I land on the fourth stripe here, which for that airspeed is pretty good, I guess. There it is. Here's my eighth and final landing. I'm at 30 degrees or full flaps. You can see the difference in the airspeed. I'm doing about 49 as I come through the trees there. You can see keeping around, uh, you know, 49.50, about 48 as I come across the threshold. And I land on the second stripe, which, you know, is really nice. So that's it. That's the last landing. Thanks for sticking with me here. Later.